The whole of my family disowned me for 15 years. 15 years. Uh, my name is Ali. I'm 51 years old. I was born and raised in Southern California, and we hit, live here in Oklahoma City right now. And um, I was raised an evangelical Christian for the first 19 years of my life. I became a Muslim 32 years ago in 1991. I called my father and I told him that I had become a Muslim. And my father, remember, he's super Christian. He said, you did what? And I said, I have become Muslim. You worship the moon god? And I, no, I, I don't worship a moon god or the moon or I worship one god, the god of Jesus, the god of Moses and Abraham. And he said, no, you don't. No, you, 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 you've, uh, uh, listen, you're on this Islam and he said an explicit, explicitive, and he told me, give me an ultimatum. He said, look, you know, your six figure income, uh, your six figure inheritance, that's going to be gone. The things that you're going to inherit after me, gone. The amount that I was set to inherit was six hundred thousand dollars and that was back in the early 90s my family is in the petroleum uh, industry so very well off and i said you're going to disown me he said after today if you insist upon this islam religion you are dead to me your all your inheritance gone and he said son don't test me i will go to my lawyer tomorrow and have him change the will and you will be completely penniless you will have no income whatsoever nothing from me you will be dead to me dead to your brothers and your sister you're done so choose the words that you say very carefully now will you leave islam or will you stay in this fake religion and i said before i answer that let me tell you something i will obey you in everything except this one thing and he said why before you're dead to me explain to me why and i said dad i have to make my own decision there's something more than a six-figure inheritance there's something more than inheriting property there's something more after this life and I don't care about this life. So when it comes to matters of salvation, you can keep your money. Give it to my brothers, my sister, give it to charity, I don't care. I have to insist that I become a Muslim and remain a Muslim. And here I am, 32 years later, a Muslim, alhamdulillah. So after that, I got a letter in the mail. About two weeks later, he had done exactly that. He had gone to his lawyer. I don't care if it was $600 million. Look, you and I are going to be put in a, in a, in a grave and we're going to be in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one, the irresistible. And we're going to be, you know, questioned about what we did in life.